What's going on guys, Mental Outlaw here, back with another Vim tutorial. In today's video, we're going to talk about the concept of searching for text in Vim, sometimes called finding text. Now, built into Vim, there's a lot of different ways we can search for text. First thing we're going to have to do though is switch into normal mode. I was in insert mode because all of these different search functions have to be executed from normal mode. So the first one that we see up here is a forward slash. So from normal mode, hitting the forward slash key, you see that we get this prompt that shows up down here in the lower left hand corner. It may be located in a different area depending on how your VimRC is set up, but I'm pretty sure it's at the bottom by default. So what this is going to allow us to do now is to start typing in any particular string we want to search for. So let's just look for the word search. And you see as we start typing, it's going to start highlighting the first instance that it finds. Now, this is going to search in a forward direction. So typing it isn't going to necessarily show us the first one because we were typing it in from this area right here. So if I were, well, since this search that's all the way back here is after where we were searching, that's why that didn't show up as the first occurrence. But if we do go to the beginning and we do the same thing and type search, you see that now this is the first one that comes up because that is the first occurrence found from the location that we started doing that search command. Now, once we have found what we're looking for, we can hit enter and it'll just bring us to the first character of the string that we were looking for. And we can go to other instances of the string by hitting N, which will take us to the next occurrence of that string. And we can capitalize the N in order to do this backwards. So if we hit capital N, you see it'll go from this search to the next one, the next previous one I mean, then to the previous one, then to the previous one, then to the previous one again. Notice how this doesn't match the same string per se, but this contains the string that we were looking for. Searching contains the word search, so it's going to look for that one as well. And since we're at the first instance of search, what happens if we hit capital N again? Well, you see, it brings us back to the bottom and you'll see here that the search hit the top, continuing at the bottom. That is the default behavior of the search command. Now, we can do the same thing again, but in reverse. So if we were to instead search with the question mark, you see again, we have the same prompt that comes up to allow us to start typing in text. So I'm gonna type in search. And this time it brought us to the first backward instance of the word search. And we can also do lowercase n and capital N to navigate this as well. But since we're searching backwards, lowercase n and capital N are going to have their functionality flipped. So instead of capital N searching me forward, capital N, I mean, instead of capital N searching me backwards, capital N is now gonna search me forwards and lowercase n is now going to search me backwards. And you can do the same thing to just repeat that search if you exit out of it by uh, entering in question mark twice. Same thing for the forward search. You can press in that forward slash twice and then it will repeat the search that you just completed. Now, there's another way that you can do this search that requires quite a bit less typing. So let's say that I'm on top of a word. Actually, let's not use that one. Let's use just search instead of searching. So say that you're on top of a word. I'm on top of the word search here. And let's say that I want to find the next instance of this word. 
Well, the way that I would do that is by hitting shift and then eight, which enters the asterisk character. And you can see down here that it basically filled in everything as if we did an actual uh, search for search. And it's doing the string literal here. So you'll notice that this isn't gonna take me up to searching because it formats it as a string literal instead of the way that we were searching before, which is, I forget the proper terminology, but it will search for string literals as well as any other super string that contains your smaller string. Uh, but anyway, this is doing the literal search of that string. And you see every time we hit it, we just go to the next instance of it. And of course it'll wrap around just like our regular search when we hit the bottom and we get this red text here letting us know that. We can also do the same thing in reverse with the hashtag, which on most keyboards is gonna be shift three. And you see this is searching backwards for the word search. Now I've showed you how to search for text in a lot of different ways. You may be wondering, how do I actually find and replace that text? In most text editors, if you can figure out how to find text, it's usually just a matter of clicking on one box or you know, usually find and find and replace are in the same areas. Well on Vim, it's a little bit different. We have to enter in a command to actually find and replace text. Now the syntax for that command is colon. And of course, make sure that you're in normal mode when you type this, because if you're in insert mode, you're gonna start inserting a colon. That's not what we want. So we will hit escape to be in normal mode. Colon, percent sign, S. And then we'll do a forward slash. And from here, we're going to text we're going to enter in the text that we want to search for. So I typed a few sentences down there below. We're going to search for wrong. And now we are going to replace instances of the word wrong with right. And then you see here, I gave an option for what you can do. Now, if you want to just replace every single occurrence of the word wrong with right, then the option that you're looking for is G. And if I hit enter on this, you'll see when I come down here, it changed from searching for love in all the wrong places to all the right places. And it's right to eat cookies after midnight. Windows is the right OS to use for programming, etc. But it didn't change this. This is because this wrong was written in all caps. If we do want to change that, we have to use a different option than we used before. So let's undo what we just did with the letter U and let's do our search again. So we're going to do percent sign S forward slash wrong forward slash right. And we're going to do G, but we're also going to add I, which means that it's going to do this in a way that is case insensitive. So when Vim is looking for the word wrong, it doesn't care if wrong is spelled with a capital, it doesn't care if it's all uppercase, it doesn't care if it's, you know, in some stupid way like that, it's gonna look for every instance of that word wrong regardless of case. And of course, it's gonna replace it with the same thing that we entered in. So it's going to make this all lowercase and change it to right. Now, this still doesn't quite look right to me because this sentence here, Windows is the right OS to use for programming, I'm pretty sure that that is wrong. So let's try another type of find and replace. We're going to do our star. I mean, we're gonna do our percent sign S we're gonna look for the word wrong. We're going to replace it with the word right. We're gonna do this globally. We're going to ignore case, but also we wanna get a prompt before each one of these instances because that one there, uh, kind of in the middle, but not quite right. We don't wanna change that one. So we'll hit enter on this. 
And you see that it gives us a prompt down here at the bottom. So are we gonna replace this with right? Yeah, we'll replace that. Are we gonna replace that with right? Yeah, we'll replace that. But this one, we're not gonna replace that. And this one, we will replace that. So there you go, you see that it prompted us and all we had to do was hit one letter, either Y or N. Um, make sure that when you're entering in your Y or N that it is indeed lowercase because if you do it with a capital Y or a capital N, it's going to take that input to mean yes to all or no to all. So just be a little bit careful about that. Alrighty guys, so in this video, I showed you how to search for text. I showed you how to replace that text that you search for. Any questions about what we covered here, you know what to do. Leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and share it with a friend who you think will benefit from it. Peace out guys.